Jerry Lee Lewis, in a photo taken during his infamous trip to London in June 1958, when it became public that he was married to his 13-year-old cousin. Evening Standard slash Getty Image Shide Caption Toggle Caption Evening Standard slash Getty Images Jerry Lee Lewis, in a photo taken during his infamous trip to London in June 1958, when it became public that he was married to his 13-year-old cousin. Evening Standard slash Getty Images Rock and Roll's first great wild man, Jerry Lee Lewis, the singer and pianist nicknamed The Killer, has died. He was 87 years old. Sam Phillips, the founder of Sun Records, and the producer who also discovered Elvis, Helen Wolf, Johnny Cash, Carl Perkins and Roy Orbison, called Lewis the most talented man I ever worked with, black or white. One of the most talented human beings to walk God's earth but almost as quickly as Born September 29, 1935 in Faraday, Louisiana, Jerry Lee Lewis grew up caught in a binary quandary over music and morality, perpetually torn between his religious upbringing and a burning desire to boogie. His mother was a Pentecostal preacher who disapproved of secular music, his cousin, the influential and eventually infamous evangelical preacher Jimmy Swaggart, was also fond of condemning the devil's music. But when Lewis was just eight years old, his father, who had served time in prison for Boo, and he grew up sneaking into the black clubs, hiding under the tables until he got kicked out. In a 1987 documentary called I Am What I Am, Lewis described the music he heard there, something different about it, it was blues and it was kind of rock. I just loved the blues. It was the real thing. I kinda always figured I was the real thing too. He taught himself to play, combining the boogie beats from the black clubs and some of what he heard on Sundays at his Pentecostal church. Religion influenced more than the music, this was a time when rock and roll was deemed downright demonic. As a teenager, Lewis was thrown out of the school he was attending, Southwest Bible Institute in Texas, for playing boogie woogie on a school piano. In late 1956, Lewis was signed to Sam Phillips' Sun Records, the Memphis record label that became legendary and where his label mates included Elvis Presley and Johnny Cash. At first, he was a journeyman side player to artists like Carl Perkins, but that proximity meant that he was also played in a legendary single session in December 1956 at Sun Studios. Playing alongside Presley, Cash, and Perkins, Lewis was part the one-night foursome that became known as the Million Dollar Quartet, which inspired a Tony-nominated musical of the same name that opened on Broadway in 2010. When Lewis was 25, he struck gold with a career-defining hit, Whole Lotus Shaken Going On, 